Okay. DJI the Mini 3 Pro. Everybody seems to be having problems <clears throat> with the, one of the motors sticking or spinning harder than the others. More resistance. These are all good. This one was freezing up. I'd get the same warning everybody else would get. Um, motor bound or something. I forget what it was. And I tried blowing it out. Couldn't free it. I tried spinning. Couldn't free it. <clears throat> what I ended up doing was taking, I thought I would just make a quick video, taking the blades off and then grabbing the motor and pulling it down while spinning it. So pulling down and spinning it and it allowed, if there was debris, it allowed it to kind of free up there. Um, and if there wasn't debris, because I'm not sure if it is debris between the, the copper bindings and the plate on the inside of this silver um, cap, it could be, I guess it could be debris in there that would cause that to happen. But when I pulled on, I, I think this pin in the middle, this pin right, let me, sorry about that, this pin right here in the middle, I think that when they press this, I think sometimes they push down too hard on this cap and it has a tendency to bind up or it's wobbled. It might not be pressed a press fit perfect. It might be press fit down like that and it and it kind of causes I do have some um, motor covers coming. They're, in fact, they'll be here today and I'm going to put them on. But I was able to free this up and just kept blowing and blowing and lifting and pulling and blowing and blowing but if you want to and if you're brave enough you can pull i don't have it you can pull this see the caps you can get in here with a blade i used one of these and you can wedge it in there and you can actually remove this cap it's not reusable well at least mine wasn't and it will expose the three screws holding that motor in. And so I did, I got in there, loosened that up. And you gotta be really careful. In fact, I used a Duratrax, very nice set of tools uh, for RC helicopters and such. Really strong because these screws in here, let's be honest, this whole thing is made in China. There's some great components in it and there's some cheap as can possibly be in these screws and this thing will strip out. I've I've seen videos of people stripping out the propeller screws, you know, and wondering what to do. And anyway, so the hardware's definitely not the greatest. But I just cut a piece of vinyl to go back on mine and went over just and by vinyl I mean just a piece of gray or silver decal. You could just use scotch tape, anything. I do think it's important to put something back over it. Because if those screws, they had like an adhesive, uh, it must have been from the backing of the, the decal, the uh, OEM decal. And I think that kind of makes sure those screws can't back out. Because you don't want this motor coming loose because that vibration will be a problem. Uh, I don't think it's going to be an issue, but you definitely want to put something on there. That's not the prettiest because it's really a thin vinyl. Um, but it's back on my motor does spin freely uh, even if I push down on it so whatever the deal was maybe I was actually able to get it to compress the way it was supposed to be originally you know press fit down on there like it's supposed to but I think they should come with dust covers I think it is ridiculous that they have all that binding showing here is and those of you that have these, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That is just crazy to have all that binding there. Whether it be pieces of this blade, the propeller, getting chipped by a bug, or whatever's in the air and getting lodged in there, or a bug itself, or dust, or dirt, or whatever. It does not make, I know 249, I know what they're after. They wanna keep the weight down, right? They wanna keep the weight down. I could care less. I'm already upgrading um, filters on the lens. I've already done landing gear. <clears throat> I've already gone to the bigger battery. 
and I'm going to be putting the covers on it um, here shortly. And I have, I spent the five dollars and got my certificate almost, I don't know, close to 10 years ago is when I got my. So, and that's all you need to be able to fly over. So go get that. Don't be stuck with a cheap, with a good drone that has cheap features. Fix it. Get her done right.